Huawei's latest Mate 70 series has been making headlines and recent teardowns have uncovered a fascinating detail. The flagship phones rely on SK Hynix chips instead of fully transitioning to China-made alternatives. This discovery reveals that Huawei, despite its strides towards technological independence, continues to depend on foreign materials to a certain extent. Tech Insights, a renowned teardown and analysis firm, recently disassembled the Huawei Mate 70 Pro. The results revealed that the device is equipped with a 12GB low-power DRAM system on-chip SOC, and a 512GB NAND processor, both supplied by SK Hynix. These components are crucial for ensuring the phone's smooth performance, handling tasks like multitasking, app management, and storage of photos, videos, and music. The Mate 70 Pro Plus Huawei's premium offering in the lineup takes this a step further. It features the same NAND processor, but pairs it with an upgraded 16 gigabytes DRAM. SK Hynix manufactured these 14 and DRAM chips using EUV or extreme ultraviolet lithography, a cutting edge process in the semiconductor industry. To put it simply, DRAM or dynamic random access memory is a type of volatile memory that temporarily stores data in smartphones, enabling faster access. On the other hand, NAND processors are used for flash storage, allowing devices to retain data even when powered off. This combination ensures a seamless user experience for Huawei's flagship devices. One question that arises is why Huawei chose SK Hynix chips for the Mate 70 series. The answer lies in the ongoing challenges the company faces due to US-imposed sanctions. These restrictions have not only limited Huawei's access to advanced chip-making tools, but have also created supply chain bottlenecks for high-end semiconductors. Huawei's reliance on SK Hynix chips is a strategic move to overcome these hurdles. However, SK Hynix has clarified its stance, stating we have been strictly complying with the relevant policies since the restrictions against Huawei were announced and have also suspended any transactions with the company since then. This statement raises questions about how Huawei procured these components but it's clear that supply chain challenges have forced the company to explore alternative solutions. It's worth noting that this reliance on SK Hynix is a departure from Huawei's recent trend. The Mate 60 Pro, launched last year, marked a turning point by featuring processors made entirely in China. For this, Huawei collaborated with domestic companies like Changsun Memory Technologies, CXMT, for DRAM and Yangtze Memory Technologies Corporation, YMTC, for NAND chips. Even the Nova 13 Pro, another Huawei device, uses CXMT DRAM and YMTC NAND processors. The company is caught between its ambition to foster technological independence and the practical constraints of the current global semiconductor landscape. As the Mate 70 series gains traction in the market, it stands as a testament to Huawei's ability to innovate under pressure, even if the path to complete independence remains a work in progress. Let us know your thoughts about Huawei's reliance on SK Inix chips in the comments. Do you see this as a temporary setback or a strategic decision? Stay tuned for more updates on Huawei and the tech industry's latest trends.